Hello, my name is Max Nicola and in this video I will explain how to configure the Core I.O. version of the Microscan 3. As an example I will configure two field sets with one warning field and one protective field each. The two field sets allow us to switch between safeguarding two independent hazardous areas. First, we connect the Microscan 3 to power using the M12 connector. Now, let's do the configuration. We will now define the individual parameters step by step. As a first step, project data is entered under the menu item General. If needed, an image of the application can be imported. The next step, Application, enables you to define the type of application as well as the language and the alignment of the display. The safety task, meaning horizontal hazardous area protection, vertical axis or hazardous point protection, is defined under the monitoring plane menu item. The different safety tasks suggest typical object resolutions. The object resolution, meaning the minimum object size which the scanner detects safely within a protective field, is defined at this point. The object resolution has an influence on the maximum protective field range. If necessary, multiple sampling, meaning how often the scanner has to detect an object before it is perceived as such, can be changed. Multiple sampling rate influences the response time of the OSSDs. In the menu item Fields, the field sets can be configured. In our example, we configure two field sets with one warning and one protective field each. The available signal pins are assigned under the Inputs and Outputs item. Three freely assignable pins are available with the Microscan 3 Core I.O. The pins can be assigned both with Inputs and Outputs. You need a static control input to be able to safely switch between two field sets. Just drag and drop. The third freely assignable pin activates in our example a signal lamp if a warning field is infringed. Every field set is assigned to a monitoring case in the monitoring cases item. Just drag and drop. The input conditions for activating the monitoring cases are defined in the following. Now the cutoff path is defined. The protective fields switch the safety output. The warning fields switch output 1 to activate the signal lamp. To verify the input conditions for the static control inputs, 
go to the simulation item. In the last step, transmit, you have the option of starting the device in test mode before transferring the configuration to the safety laser scanner in order to check the suitability of the configuration for the actual application. To prevent device manipulation, there are three user groups with different authorizations. An authorized client has unlimited access to all functions of the safety designer. Read the verification report carefully, check it for configuration errors and then save it. Clicking on OK will transfer the configuration to the safety laser scanner. The multicolor display of the MicroScan 3 shows the current status of the device very clearly and even from long distances. Infringing a warning field can trigger a signal lamp for example, however it does not lead to a safe machine stop. If the protective field is infringed, the machine immediately stops safely. Thank you very much for watching this video. In the next video, I will show how to export device information directly from the scanner and without the need of connecting to the PC. You can find all information on the MicroScan 3 on our website.